What's up guys, Sir William here. Thanks for watching. I wanted to shoot a quick video here to let you know about hashtag USA on dirt, what it's all about, and some of the modifications that I've made to the rig that I'm taking and which rig I'm taking. So let's get started. So as you see here, I've got a 2015 Toyota 4Runner Trails Edition. This particular one is equipped with KDSS suspension, which uh, for those that don't know Toyota, the KDSS suspension is a uh, basically a manipulation of the sway bar to allow you for heavy articulation off-road as well as it tightens up real nice for you whenever you're on road so very nice deal also the trails comes with a uh, crawl control feature which is basically like cruise control for off-road driving as well as electronic locking rear differential which in my uh, honest opinion is absolutely necessary for any kind of um, above average off-road conditions so anything more than just a regular old dirt road I always recommend a locking rear differential some of the equipment that I've upgraded it with is very very minor it's mostly all stock as you can see I've upgraded it with BF Goodwrench all-terrain tires those have been provided by Fred Anderson Toyota of Columbia thank you very much for helping me out with those um, also I've equipped it with a uh, with a, a basket up on the top that is just a cheap basket that I got from Cabela's for about a hundred bucks I've seen the same thing on Amazon very easy to put on um, and the idea uh, behind it was not so much so I could carry things on top but the big thing is so I could make a homemade shower that you'll see in one of my other videos to be able to go on the side also to mount a shovel up on the top which I have and I'm not going to fill it up with anything uh, major I'm going to put some extra gas up there but for the most part everything's going to be riding on the inside and on the inside, uh, or excuse me, on the top, what I wanted to be able to do is put everything on the top uh, in case we had to sleep on the inside of the truck. It's a very nice deal there. Um, as far as suspension modifications, everything's 100% stock. You got a two-inch, uh, you got a two-inch leveling kit. Uh, I guess is what they call that up on the front there. The only reason I did that is because with the KDSS suspension, it does sit a little bit lower, and I found that I hit my skid plate a good bit. So it's all done up there. Other than that, everything is pretty much stock. Pretty stoked about USA on uh, dirt. This is uh, going to be the second time that I've made a trip similar to this. The first time I was rerouted a lot of times because of snow. So this time I prepared to do the whole entire trip. It's a 5,000 mile journey off road on a trail called the Trans America Trail. The Trans America Trail starts in Andrews, North Carolina, ends in Port Orford, Oregon, and it's about 80% off road. So very stoked about that going to be stopping in a couple different places to do some off-road and going to get off the trail just a little bit to go see some things like uh, Yellowstone National Park, some of the different places in Moab, and some various different uh, sites that we've plotted. Um, from there, once we end in Port Orford, Oregon, we're going to go down the Pacific Coast Highway all the way down to Los Angeles. From Los Angeles, we'll go up through Hollywood into Las Vegas. From Las Vegas, we'll go in through uh, the Mojave Road. Um, as well as connect with Route 66 in Kingman, Arizona, go through Amarillo, stop at the Cadillac Ranch and all that good stuff, and then hop on 40 and come on back. So super stoked for it. We're starting September 1st, 2017. I'll be updating videos on my YouTube once or twice about uh, every week, so stay tuned for that. Go ahead and click subscribe so that way you'll be notified as soon as we drop a video. This time is going to be a little bit different than last time. Last time, uh, if you watched uh, hashtag trail on tap, then you'll know that I did that uh, specific journey by myself. This time I'll be taking Christy with me, my better half of 14 years, so it ought to be pretty entertaining. I uh, want to give you a quick walk around of the truck so that way you can see some of the minor modifications that I've done both outside and on the inside. So let's take a look. As I said, for the most part, it's completely stock with the exception of the upgraded tires there going around to the top I've got that roof rack that I told you about and attached to it I've got a shovel you never know when you're gonna need a shovel inside of it as you can see I have a recovery set or a set of recovery boards those are similar to the max tracks but do not cost $300 like the max tracks I'll be doing a review on those And on the right side here, I've got that onboard uh, water system or solar shower that I talked about. Holds uh, roughly three to four gallons of water. Pretty nice setup. Still working out some of the kinks on that, so I plan to have that fully functional by Friday whenever we leave. And then on the front here, all I did was add a piece of vinyl to reduce some of the glare uh, that that scoop gives you. That scoop is non-functioning, but the vinyl was provided by Tony K. Wood. 
Appreciate that, Tony. Uh, he helped me out whenever I needed some vinyl. Uh, he had some laying around from his tundra. So take a look at the inside. As far as the inside go, everything is pretty much stock. As you can see, I've got some of the stuff already packed. That's going to be in another video, what all I'm bringing with me here. Uh, JR's Automotive was able to help me get an electrical setup here. I've got an electrical setup, as you can see, a little panel right there. Uh, that's got some two USB ports, a cigarette lighter adapter, as well as a volt reader. And then right over here, I've actually hardwired the fridge in. And the reason I did that is because the cigarette lighter uh, adapter that came with it does not stay inside there whenever you're doing off-roading and stuff like that. I wanted a little better power, uh, a little better power connection, so that's what I did there. Uh, appreciate it to JR's Automotive for doing all the wiring on the vehicle and helping out with any of the mechanics on the vehicle. So thank you, JR's Automotive. As far as the fridge goes, the fridge came from Truck Fridge USA. It's an Indel B fridge. Very nice unit. Uh, works out great. I tell you what, that is a game changer whenever it comes to camping and carrying on. Uh, that Truck Fridge are great people to work with over there. Uh, they sent it to me within just a couple of days, just as soon as I called. So uh, great people. That's Truck Fridge uh, USA, and uh, they'll get you hooked up. Another modification that I made is kind of a bashed up skid plate here, which that came from doing some off-roading, as you can see in some of the other videos that I've got. All right, so in here, as you can see, uh, very dirty engine bay, courtesy of uh, off-roading all over the U.S. <laughs> but anyway, right here is the deep cycle battery that I have. Uh, that's got 840 cold cranking amps, 160 reserve capacity and it's a 24 group got that from batteries plus it's an x2 power that was highly recommended the guys over at my local battery plus one really sold me on that one or two really knew what they were talking about so i, I expect big things out of that all right so that's it as far as the toyota 4runner mods go um, as you can see it's pretty much a stock vehicle and it's very capable of doing all different things stock I've taken it all through Moab, multiple Jeep trails, so on and so forth, and it's very capable of doing so. I wanted to make these videos to show you guys that you don't need thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of vehicle modifications and sponsors and different things like that. In order to go out there and have your own adventure, you just got to get out there and do it, man. Go have fun. Go off-roading. Find somewhere that you want to go. Plot it out on Google Maps. Do whatever you want to do. Just go have fun and live by your own rules. The next video that I'm going to make is going to be showing you what I'm doing to prepare for the USA on dirt, uh, the different things that I'm taking and packing and so on and so forth. So stay tuned. I appreciate you guys watching. Peace. I plan on taking Christy with me, which is my better half of 14 years, so it ought to be entertaining. <coughs> <coughs> Swallowed a fucking gnat. Just in case you guys don't know, don't go to South Carolina. There's too many fucking gnats here. This place is unreal. All the sand and shit. Anyway, a bashed up uh, skid plate for additional clearance. Uh, that came from, uh, from some off-roading videos that you might see down below here. If you take a look... <coughs> <coughs> as you can see in some of the other videos that I've got on my page. Take a look over here. Up here is my bazooka. I plan on taking that with me. I'm just fucking around. That, that's not a bazooka. They want everything. Everybody want a better thing. Trying to figure like it's picture perfect, but it's just the editing. And the game been waiting for a better king. I've been posting with my queen like a better king. Screaming money and a thing, cause it ain't. Man, I never knew that living out a dream, that living out a suitcase.